you know, I have to say that the viewers are going to watch this at any point in time because the conversation is not centered on just today. But just to place this in the timeline, uh, this conversation is taking place about, say, two weeks from Christmas Eve, uh, less than a week uh, from New Year's Eve. So firstly, happy 2024 and Merry Christmas. Thank you. You know, I'm also saying Merry Christmas because that's also your next release, mm -hmm. um, which should have come in Christmas, right? It's called Merry Christmas for God's yeah. sake. Like, were you, that were kind you, of uh, is a prerequisite, right? When you yeah, have a I film mean, called yeah. Merry Christmas. So is that something that you were responsible for, like shifting the date? Oh, no. I wish, I wish I, uh, I wish I, I wish people were so uh, eager to listen to me, but no. <laughs> no, they should be. They should be. I'll tell you why. Because everything that I've known about you over the years is that you have your box office numbers and your fingertips. You seem to know the opening collections of movies, the release. So you know, you know the big Bollywood setup uh, in this lot for sure. Like you're the veteran. <laughs> no. I don't know if anyone else sees it that way though. I get your point, but I'm not too sure. Um, which is, I think, why... I love the setup. I think Shiram sir is such a unique person. You call him sir, is it? Yeah. Okay, on the set He's, as well. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I think that's age appropriate, right? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I didn't ask his or age. Is it a Bollywood thing to say sir? I think it is. I think it is a bit of a, a film industry thing, or or, or an industry thing. I mm. think, but also, it's, I think sometimes it just feels right. Like I wouldn't be called Ali sir, right? I wouldn't call Ali Abbas Zafar sir. I'd be because that's like, the Ali. rapper you have. <laughs> He's with my him. rapper. He's my friend. He's also my similar age. But yeah, feels right. I think Shiram sir also sounds nice. And he's got he's got he's got white hair. But yeah, so I mean, he could he could you he know could, dye his yeah. hair. That, it could that's be not a fashion <laughs> statement. But I think he he's he's a person who really. Um, He's not swayed by trends and he's not dictated by what is uh, currently going on mm. and currently in trend and in vogue. I think he's just a passionate, a really passionate storyteller. He's a quintessential movie buff, you know, mm. like he's the person who can tell you all what of the... What t-shirt is he wearing today? Like I haven't seen Exactly. Him. Every day is a new <laughs> film. So yeah. it'll be a Hitchcock film someday, then it will be some Hindi film classic. He's a passionate movie lover he's a, mm. he's a lover of cinema and he sees things in a very different way mm. he has um, a very unique take on things and so kind of like the first step for me in this film was let go mm. and I think that applied also to the release of the film the marketing of the film everything because I just wanted in this thing in this in this setup to just take a step back and um, and just see how He's how, also how earned it, it right, Katrina, in the sense yes. that uh, while he may not be a quintessential Bollywood blockbuster maker, but his last film, which was Andadhun, that passed, like, you know, went past 300 crore, because some of it had to do with China box office mm -hmm. as well. Um, but for you, as an actor, it's a completely different space, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very different space. Like, I would imagine Tabu in it, not Katrina yeah. Kaif. No, I can, I can completely see um, Tabu in a, in, a, in a space like this. And I loved her in Anthadun. I mean, I love her anyways. Yeah. I think we all do. But she was just fabulous in Anthadun. And I, I think that um, when me and Sri Ramsar kind of uh, set out to make this film mm. together, the first important thing for me was to not come with any baggage or any pressure. And the great thing about Sri Ram is that now you've made me conscious of saying sir. <laughs> the great thing about him is he doesn't, um, he does not put that pressure on you. Mm. I'm a great filmmaker and my films are so um, artistic and you know, uh, everyone has to be great in my films. He's very chilled. Mm. He's very chilled and he's not, he's not putting that pressure on you that, uh, you know, you have to do something you know, what will happen. He's very just, I'm me, you're you. Let's just be true to the situation. Let's be real. Let's find honesty in this. Mm. And he, he does take a lot out of you though. Mm. Like after the first narration, he um, told me in the room with him and the, his editor, uh, Pooja, mm. we were discussing something about the, about the character. Mm. And he was feeling one way and I was uh, perhaps having, you know, just a, another kind of viewpoint on it. And I went home and I wrote the backstory. Mm. He didn't ask me to. That was the thing I realized. Mm. I wrote the backstory of who I thought Maria was, this, the, my character's name. And then I gave it to him. I emailed it to him. Because mm. I think it was what, during one of the lockdowns. I emailed the demons and sir, I just wrote a backstory of what I think for Maria. And he really loved it. Like he really loved it. And we had a more in-depth discussions based on that. And I think that gave us a little bit of guidance into, into our debate. But 
he's that kind of director who right. who will allow you that space for these yeah. conversations so i must let the viewers know that i haven't seen merry christmas yet oh, oh yeah uh, i wish i had but you know you kind of know the space is going to be yeah. in the noirish space yeah. uh, while the christmas series will have like a lot of easter eggs you know in in your know, references and in jokes and and things like that it happens in all sri ram's films but uh, Personally, for you, uh, Karina, I was listening to a couple of interviews that you've done before the release, and you've been saying something to the effect of how you were crying before, crying during, oh, yeah. crying after. I'm, I'm sure you meant it in a nice way, but you shouldn't be crying so much. I mean, what's going on? No, no, no. Some of it was requ required. Some of it was necessary for the film, and then of course heaps of it was not required. But that was me feeling what I was feeling what at the time. What were you feeling? Like, why are you crying so much? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what happened. Uh. Firstly, when the film actually went on floors, mm. when we started discussing the film and when we went and went on floors was there was a big time gap. Mm. When the film actually went on floors, it was literally f three and a half or four weeks after I had just got three and a half weeks after I just gotten married. Mm. And I'm getting into you're in this incredibly jubilant, yeah. celebratory, happy space. Mm. Okay. And also you have to remember that there was COVID in between. So all I wanted to do in that moment was spend time with my husband right. because it was time I had not, we had not got had together. It's now time to show up on set. I'm obsessed with my work. I'm extremely dedicated like that. I, I, it's, I can't be halfway in anything, but I'm in this incredibly happy, jubilant, hmm. coming out of this incredibly happy, happy, jubilant celebration and diving into this film, which not to give too much away, but is very intense and a little bit of a darker, right. a darker film. Mm. And I had to like, firstly, it was difficult for me to get into the zone. Mm. Then once I realized that this is happening, right? Mm. Then you had to dive in, mm -hmm. you had to like dive in into the deep end. And where the tears started was because in the Hindi part of the film, there's, a, let me put it this way, there's a fair amount of emotion. Mm. So I'm crying a lot in the film as a character mm -hmm. because there's a lot of Stuff there's a lot that's of stuff going does. on okay that's yeah. what we do yeah. <laughs> when we get upset and then there was a conversation i have some i've been told an issue with a little bit of selective memory and okay. i know this is true some things just don't stick and i just kind of choose to forget it so apparently it's a good way to be happy Shriram, by the way yeah it's a good way to be yeah, happy yeah, yeah. But, sh but also it's a good way to sometimes get in get yourself in trouble so sriram sir has apparently told me as it has been reaffirmed to me by my manager who said it was clearly told that this is going to be a film that's going to be bilingual, mm -hmm. which means we're going to do the film in Hindi and we're going to do the film in Tamil. And somehow I just kind of you forgot passed, the comment no, part. I just kind of passed it off. Mm -hmm. I think it's just one of those things that mm -hmm. ignorance is bliss or, you know, mm -hmm. it's like the, uh, the ostrich. If you put your head in the sand, nobody mm -hmm. will see me. If I don't say it, they won't say it. Mm -hmm. And so we've, we shot the whole Tamil, uh, sorry, the whole Hindi version on, this, on the set, right? Mm -hmm. Now that this, this is done. And uh, then do it again. So then Sri Amsar says, and now, now we're going to do the Tamil uh, version. So this actually happened about four days before. Right. There, was, there was about four days left, and, and then the start of the conversation started warming up. The thing is that he knew I was scared, and he was also delaying to bring it up with me for the longest time, because mm -hmm. he knew I was so scared. So then the conversation, that box opened up, that we're about four or five days away, and now we're going to start the whole thing again in Tamil. So it wasn't like one shot Hindi, one, one shot Tamil. Oh, okay, it was the whole, the whole sequence. Film. The whole film. Not the whole film, per sequence. Right. So one, one set, for example, was 20 days. So 20 days in Hindi. After the 20 days, then we, we went back and did the again. whole thing again in, That's nuts. in Tamil. Did they pay you twice for it? They did not. I hope they did. I mean, you did two movies, for God's sake. Listen, day. you're completely right. And listen, we got to have a chat about that. Why don't you and me campaign for it? Three come on, come on. Come on. Let, let's come, I think yeah, that's, we're going to campaign for that together. Basically, what happened, to cut a long story short, I'll keep it precise. I tried to convince him not to do it. As simple as that. Oh, wow. I, con I was said just I double over it. No, I yeah. just was like, sir, take, I, I went as far as saying, take somebody else. Mm. I said, sir, take, take, take a, a Tamil actress. Oh. And he was like, but why are you so scared? I said, sir, I'll tell you why I'm scared. If this was any other film, probably take my last four films that I've done. Take Tiger, for instance. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 tiger, tiger, would be like tiger like maybe not. But let, yeah. let, let's say whatever, most of the films that I've done, if you say, do it in Tamil as well. It, it would be in control. This is a very, very conversational film. Mm. There's scenes where it's almost like I think a 15 minute scene where it's just you and me talking. Mm. 
so that much conversation to do in a language like Tamil, which is so you know, which is but an alien language to, let to you me. I need to know that this entire conversation that we're having, mm -hmm. we'll be doing it all over again in Hindi. <laughs> I hope you know that, right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we can absolutely do that. No problem. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Tamil, I might just like <laughs> have a heart attack. So then what happened? So what happened is um, that's when the tears started. That's when the tears started. So before that was the tears required for the Hindi part of the shoot. Mm -hmm. Then was the tears of, of, of I Doing think, worry, yeah, yeah. Of worry to, to, to start the Tamil uh, version. So I cried a lot. I cried a lot. Genuinely, I think for three days I cried. I was like, no, sir, I won't be able to do it. I can't do it. It's going to be so difficult. But I was also taking a lot of stress because I was working myself up mm -hmm. for all the reasons you just said, no? Mm -hmm. It's a Sri Ram Raghavan film and oh, it has to be. And when it was in Hindi, I was fine with it. But the minute, the minute it got to I mean, Tamil, you, you I was done, taking right? You were probably emotionally spent. I, 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 it it was honestly one. hard. Right. I found it tough. And then so you know, you've had been this talking about how there have been twists and turns mm -hmm. leading up to the film. Is that what you mean? Yeah. I think that that and also just uh, the COVID that came in between, how the shoot the shoot sure. got uh, got kind of started and then stopped. But yeah, so to wind up that the the that story, basically what happened is I had an incredible uh, coach who came to help me. Her name is Deepa Venkat, and she um, she was like my my rock. She actually came to me on the day on that day when I was crying, and she came to me. You look really stressed. Let's go sit outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she just kind of really really held my hand through it. And then I told myself very simply that now you've expressed yourself, now this is happening, you're going to do this, and now drop everything. Just drop all the stress, drop all the tension, drop all the fear, and do as much preparation on the lines as you can before mm -hmm. the camera's rolling. But the minute you hear action, do not think. And you'll say, but that's obvious. But I really had to force myself. But I, I, almost had, I just had to force my brain, do not think. Mm -hmm and just see what happens, trust what happens. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.